<laughs> How are you guys? Good. It's not very good light in here. What's happening? Okay, Kelly Palmer, come on the live and I'm going to answer your questions. So guys, some people are asking questions of me in my Facebook group, Manifest Live with Loz, where I've posted all these lives. So if you've missed any lives, guys, I'm posting the other four that I've not posted yet in there today. So I save them all. So you can go back into that Facebook group, just join it, answer a few questions just saying you saw me on TikTok and you can actually watch these back, guys. Because a lot of people, I'm talking so fast or I've given them the answer and they don't have a pen and paper and they want to go back and get the answer I gave them on Sunday or whatever. Or you might find answers to your question in the 27 or whatever lives that are going to be in there by the end of today. So um, I just had a question in my Facebook group and I was going to answer it in the live because... It was very long. So, Kelly, if you're here, tell me if you're here and I shall answer it for you, my darling. Okay? So, guys, a lot of the themes that have come up in my private coaching have been not changing you. So a lot of people come in, and I'm not telling anyone's personal shit here, but I'm having one-to-one -one video coaching with people over Skype and Messenger. And the common theme I'm seeing is people not realizing their own shit their own subconscious shit that's causing their life and they're focusing too much on getting their person back but they don't realise what they fucking did they, and they even might realise what they did but they're still not working on changing that so they might be like, oh I know my thoughts created the situation but then they're focusing on manifesting the person it's not going to do anything it's literally not going to do a thing okay, so the question I was about to answer in Facebook is the same shit Different person, same shit, different person. It keeps popping up. You guys are so preoccupied with manifesting your person back and you're not bothering to change you. Change you to change them. You can only change you to change them. You can only change them when you change you. You are the cause. You are the cause. Write this down on a piece of paper. You are the only cause. I know that's really fucking hard to take when you've had a breakup and you realize your shitty, negative, dominant, habitual thinking from childhood caused the fucking shit, but you need to change it to get them back. Do you guys get this? Hello. Hey, Loz. I'm not doing too well today. Need some hard discipline. Well, darling, don't worry. Just get back on the horse and listen to the live and by the end of it, you'll feel fine. I'm Kelly. Yay. Okay. Kelly, I'm going to answer your question. Do you mind if I read it out? Just tell me if you mind if I read it out from the Facebook group. You may not want everyone hearing your details. I'm just going to answer Super Mum's question first. So, Kelly, just tell me if you're okay with me reading the question out, darling. I'm feeling discouraged today. Normally, I'm positive and visualise. How do I keep on track? Guys, if you feel depressed, if you feel sad, don't worry about it. I'm not one of those LOA idiots who's telling you to feel positive all fucking day. You can manifest whatever you like, not feeling positive. Don't worry about it. All you need is to replace the positive, the negative thought with the positive one. Have a big cry all day for all I fucking care. It doesn't matter, guys. It just matters what you're thinking. Feel sad all day if you like. You can still manifest. doesn't matter. doesn't mean shit. Don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. Kelly, do you mind if I read it out, darling? Yes, please do. Okay, so this was Kelly's question in the Facebook group. Um... So we just persist in the new story. My SP was in denial. Now, I just want you to remember these, this shitty stuff you're saying. In denial, insecure, deceptive and manipulative. This is the main part I'm going to talk about. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what you mean by I don't have to fix any issues with opposing affirmations. I don't know what you mean by that. I can just affirm I'm blissfully married. No. I'm trying to select the most important thoughts on repeat living in the end. If I just focus on a loving, committed relationship, it'll all work out, right? No. <laughs> Yes, I've been affirming he is confident enough to admit his feelings. No, he's successful and communicates honestly. No, that's not going to help you. Is that still focusing on the old story? You're not even changing the fucking old story. I'm still doing self-concept too. I'm joining the live. I won't miss it. Darling, everything you're doing won't work. Okay? <laughs> because you're still thinking this shit. Insecure, denial, manipulative. Why are you still describing him like that? I don't care how successful you think he is or... He can communicate his feelings. What the fuck's that got to do with you thinking he's deceptive and manipulative and in denial? You need to kill that shit. What's he in denial about? Something he did wrong? You did it wrong. Darling, whatever he showed up as, manipulative, in denial, insecure, was your thinking that outpictured onto him. You thought he was insecure. You thought he was deceptive. You thought he would deceive you and therefore he did. Nothing he did had anything to do with him. They have no free will. And you are not changing that shitty, shitty, shitty story you have about him. Most people would say, 
Why the fuck would you want to get back with this guy? He's in denial, insecure, deceptive, manipulative. He sounds like an asshole. You're describing him as a literal asshole that no one in their right mind would want to get back with. Until you drop that shit, nothing you're doing is going to do anything. You understand? So, I don't want you to focus on him being confident and admitting in feelings. I want you to concentrate on the fact that he is always, he has always been so honest with me. That could be one of your affirmations. He's always been secure in himself and confident, but get rid of the insecure. You see what I'm saying? He always was an open book and shared his feelings with me. I want you to talk about it as if it was always like that, not just he's like this now. Your relationship was always like that. And then I want you to see him differently. He's this, he's that. Complete opposite of all this shit you're thinking about him. And then you can say we're blissfully happily married. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't get rid of that shit, you can say you're blissfully happily married all fucking day and nothing's going to happen. That's what I'm talking about, guys, about killing the old story and changing you. Then you have to, my darling, think about what the fuck was the stuff I was doing in the relationship that made him act deceptive, that made him act insecure. It's not that anything to do with him. Change you, not them. Change you, not them. You guys aren't getting this. It's not about them. Why did he act like that, darling? That's what you need to fix. You can focus on you're happily married all fucking day and then he comes back and you haven't changed that shitty shit inside you, that negative self-talk, and he'll just leave again. Or he'll be deceptive again. Then you'll be here going, he was deceptive again. I'll say, yes, I know, darling, because you thought he'd be deceptive. There's something in you that assumes that about people and therefore they will do that. Did you have unloyal parents? Did your parents cheat? Did your parents lie? Who in your life did that to you to make you think everyone's going to do it to you, darling? Something in you, it's not about him. Did that answer your question? I'm going up. Uh, hang on, guys. I tried manifesting something small today, but it didn't work. I actually believed in it. Doesn't matter. Do it tomorrow. Guys, if things don't happen straight away, why are you beating yourself up? You can't just come on these lives a few times and then suddenly become a master manifest, a magician who gets everything like this. People are so worried about it happening now, today. Don't freak out. What do I keep saying about time and allowing it to come about in its own time and not freaking out? Um, guys, if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling like your affirmations aren't working, don't worry about it. You're still looking at the outside. It hasn't happened. Huh. I want you to live up here, guys. I don't want you to look at the 3D and freak out. I don't want an ex back. I want someone I've never been in a relationship with. It's circumstance. What are you talking about? Super mum. Am I? Oh. I'm feeling discouraged. So normally I'm positive. Well, does, you don't have to have an ex back. You can have a new relationship. What? That's fine. What's circumstance? What are you talking about, circumstance? Super mum, if you want someone new, imagine the new person. Write down your perfect man checklist. Imagine you're already with them. Ta-da. They'll turn up. Um, I tried manifesting something. Oh, I saw that one. My SP and I are long distance and I'm worried he'll find someone new. Well, then he will, darling. Sorry. That fear will literally manifest and he will find someone new when you go to college at the end. Stop thinking that shit. Guys, you create third parties with your fearful thinking that they're going to find someone else because deep down you've got some negative self-talk that makes you think that you're not good enough and they will choose someone else. Work on you so you don't think that shit so they don't find someone else. Guys, it's all about you. You're all so worried about what they're doing and none of you who I've spoken to on private calls in this chat hardly, are concentrating on changing you. What is making you think that someone would even think about someone new when you go to college? It's your shitty thinking about yourself, users 77777, that would make you think that anyone would possibly choose someone else over you. I am chosen. I'm the prize. I'm motherfucking special. I am too important to lose. I'm irreplaceable. Say that shit, darling. And stop thinking he's going to find someone else. Do you know why it didn't work? Yeah, because, darling, you're worried about it not fucking working and you're looking at the 3D. That's why it didn't work. Stop looking at it. My SP and I long distance. Oh, okay, I saw that one. When things I. What do you mean, darling? Inga, don't understand. Was that connected to another message? Write that again, my sweet. If you think it'll happen, it will! Exactly! If you think someone's going to cheat on you when you go to college, that's exactly what will fucking happen, guys. Your thoughts create. Stop thinking those shitty thoughts. I want to find a new friend group this summer. What should I do? To say, I love my new friends. I love my new friends. My summer was so amazing with my new friends. All right, darling? Just and imagine yourself sitting with those. You don't have to see their faces. Just imagine yourself in a scene summertime in the future sitting with your wonderful new group of friends or chatting on socials with them, darling, okay? Can I prevent it from happening? 
How, what's happening? Yes, darling, because you're gonna you're gonna make it happen with your shitty thinking. You're literally gonna create it. You what? See, even in your question, can I prevent it from happening? You're assuming it's gonna happen. I don't know if you're getting this. Your fear about it happening is what is going to create it. And then you asked again, can I prevent it from happening? Which still tells me you think it's still going to happen. Are you getting this? What in you is making you think that he would cheat on you and find someone else? Fix that before you even start fucking talking about can I prevent it from happening? You're assuming it's going to happen still. Stop thinking that. Did you hear the affirmations I just gave you? Focus on you and changing that shit in you, darling, because you're still thinking it's going to happen. And I don't know. You're not listening. I manifested a flat rental for the price I wanted. Hooray! Well done, darling. What did you do? Tell us. It's almost 2 a.m. here. Why am I awake? Well, go to sleep, Connor. This makes me paranoid. I know I can't think negative thoughts, but what do I do if we think it? This makes me paranoid. I know we can't think negative thoughts. Who said you can't think negative thoughts? Where the fuck are you guys getting this? Sh Who are you watching that says, you can't think negative thoughts, you've got to be positive all fucking day? I am not that channel. Did you hear what I said at the beginning, my darling? You don't have to be positive all fucking day. That is stupid and ridiculous and fucking impossible for any human being to carry out. I don't care if you go to a meditation retreat for five weeks and become a fucking monk, you'll still have negative thoughts. Anyone who says that they don't is lying to you. Who cares you have a negative thought? All I want you to do is replace the negative thought with a positive thought when it happens. Ta-da! Why are you getting paranoid? You're listening to these stupid LOA bitches on here who are telling you you need to be happy all the time and positive. Stop watching them. If you get any fucking things on your For You page saying, happiness meter, be positive, you need joy, I want you to press the screen and press not interested because you guys are still confused about this shit and you're not getting that you don't have to be happy all day. <laughs> Are you getting that, darling? You don't have to worry about it and you don't have to be paranoid. I agree a lot. It's hard to always be positive. It is. So stop fucking worrying about it. You don't have to be. God, guys, stop watching these stupid fucking idiots who are telling you this shit. It's humanly impossible to be positive all day. Even a Zen monk couldn't do that. What's he going to do when he stubs his toe? Is he going to be like... Oh, I love that I stubbed my toe. That's fucking ridiculous thinking. Um, yes, I am a Karen right now. I'm yelling at the screen. Uh, hang on. I'm scrolling up with so many questions. Um, 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 um. As an actor, should I manifest a specific part or just the path that's best for me? Darling, if you're going to audition, imagine you have the part already. But just assume I am a famous actor. Everyone knows me. I am known. Everyone wants to be me. Everyone wants me to sign their autograph, my autograph, okay? Assume you are that already, darling, if you don't even know what the thing is you're auditioning for. What if they are players? Well, Monica, you think they're a player, therefore they will be. Did you hear anything I just said? Your dominant thoughts create. I've never had a player because I don't assume they will be. If you assume they are, they'll turn up that way. Even the loveliest guy who's never cheated in his whole life will, be, will cheat with you because your assumption is they are a player. And that's what will happen to you. Hi, Loz. I love the lives. It keeps me on point. Yay, Sandy. Did you just send me that thing about how to have an orgasm with manifesting? That was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> with chakras and shit. That woman's an idiot. Um, hi, Paul. You haven't been on for ages. When things happen in 3D, should we affirm over, make a reason for it? Yes, darling, can it give it good meaning? Oh, fuck, that happened. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, give it good meaning. Just affirm over the top of it, guys. I want you to live up here, not looking out here. I want you to live up here in the fifth dimension, not the third dimension. Third dimension will fuck you up because it's all your old thoughts that manifested. Stop looking at it. Um, sorry, guys, I'm scrolling down. Does this mean I manifested my childhood abuse? No, darling, no one, no one manifests their childhood abuse. That's the adults in your childhood did that to you. You're a child. When you're a child, you don't manifest what happens to you. It's only when you become an adult you do. Okay, your um, subconscious thoughts are only formed from the age of zero to seven. Okay, so don't beat yourself up for any fucking shit that happened to you when you're a child that's got nothing to do with you, darling. I want to find a new friend group. I saw that one. You keep repeating it, darling. I've answered it. Today I woke up. Oh, that's good, sunshine, May. How are you going? I'm great. Um, what's your opinion on tarot cards, darling? They're just reflecting your dominant thoughts, that's all. How do I ch start changing me? Well, darling... Start writing down all your negative fucking shitty thinking you have all day. It will shock the shit out of you. You wouldn't say it to your worst enemy. Then write the complete opposite on the other side of the page. No one wants me. I am chosen and everyone loves me. 
I'm a piece of shit. I am wonderful. Fuck off. Okay? Start writing the complete opposite, darling. And every time you have those shitty negative thoughts, you jump in with the new one. Tell your brain to shut up. Haven't looked at her profile in two months, manifesting that she's out of her relationship. Well, good. Stop looking at the 3D, darling. But start concentrating on you, Connor, and why you caused the shit in the first place. Guys, you're all concentrating so much on, oh, the third party, I've got to get her back. And you're not fixing you, the shit in you that caused the relationship breakup. If you don't do that, guys, I don't care if she comes back, she'll leave again. Because of the dominant habitual thinking that outpictures that causes them to act the way they do. You guys have got to get this. You're all affirming for a relationship. You're all affirming against the third party and none of you are changing you. Change you to change them. They'll only change when you change you. They'll only come back when you change you. Are you guys getting this? I can make girls happy with some ribs and chips. Oh, I'd love some ribs and chips. That'd be delicious. It's bad to get bored of your affirmations. Well, darling, if you're getting bored of them, maybe you're doing this. John and I happily married, John and I happily married, John and I happily married, John and I happily married. I am loved and wanted, I am loved and wanted. Are you doing that fucking shit? Are you writing them down 55 by 5 times, doing all that bullshit that LOA people are telling you to do? Or are you saying them three times in the morning, three times at night like this? John and I are happily married. I love me so much, or whatever the other one I said. With conviction. That's why you're getting bored, darling. I don't get bored of mine. I love saying mine. Something you're doing wrong there. What are you doing? Tell me. My head hurts. Oh, go lay down, darling. Can I win my family court case with manifestation? Yes, darling, just imagine you won it. Imagine a celebratory party out, you know, or you're all cheering outside the courthouse and hugging each other that it, it was in your favour. Okay, darling? Imagine it's already won. You've already won it. And step into any time you have to go into court like a winner that you are winning this shit. Hello, how are you? I'm well, darling. Hi. What can I say as an affirmation to not worry about the 3D? The three, the three 3D don't phase me. The 3D doesn't bother me. I'm changing you, motherfucker. Motherfucker, I'm changing you. Because it's old. It's just your old thoughts reflected. It's catching up. It's a shadow. It's an echo. The 3D doesn't phase me because I know I'm changing you. The 3D doesn't phase me because I know I'm changing it. He was in denial about loving me because he doesn't trust me. Yes, my ex cheated on me. Well, darling, I'm sorry to tell you, but every fucking thing you just said then is your thinking. No, he did trust you. No, he he wasn't in denial about loving you. You thought he was. He doesn't trust you because you think he doesn't trust you. He cheated on you because you assumed he would. Are you getting this? It's got nothing to do with him. Everything he did and thought has nothing to do with him and everything to do with what you were thinking when you were in the relationship. You were shitty negative thinking about someone will cheat. People don't, he didn't trust me. He's in denial about loving me. I, I, are you getting this? You're not, you're not getting what I'm saying. You literally just wrote it down again as if everything I just said, you didn't hear a fucking thing. I just said to you, your shitty thinking is the reason this is happening and you're still writing down, he was in denial. No, you thought he was in denial. He doesn't trust me. No, you thought he didn't trust you, therefore he didn't. He cheated on you. Yes, because you had thoughts. Oh, I hope he doesn't see other girls. I hope he's not looking at other girls. I wonder if I'm not good enough for him. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not blah, I'm not blah, I'm not blah. And then he cheated. Are you getting this, darling? It's got nothing to do with them at all. Are you getting this? I've been in a girls' group for seven years. Well, good for you, darling. Do you have a question? I'm a guy. Oh, well done. Mm. My SP wants me and only me, even though long, even through long distance. Yes, darling, say that. How often do you self-concept affirmations? How long every day? As long as you fucking can for as long as you can. Guys, you're trying to change however many years of shitty negative thoughts. You have 70,000 of them a day. How many of those are shit? I don't care how much you affirm for self-concept, it'll change your life if you do. It'll change your negative thinking. You have to get all that shit out, get the new shit in. Do it all fucking day for all I care. I don't want you obsessively thinking, we're happily married, we're happily married all day. That's ain't going to help you. But I want you to do the self-concept all fucking day. Whenever you can. Did that answer your question? My friends didn't talk to me all last summer. Did I manifest that? Yes, darling, because you assumed they wouldn't. You assumed you'd done something wrong. You assumed they didn't like you. And therefore, they did that. Stop thinking that. Say things like, my friends love me. All my friends love me. They're all lucky to have me. And they know they're lucky to have me. I have so many friends who love me. Start saying that, darling. Because it was your thinking about them that caused them to do that. 
So don't beat yourself up to say new things like, all my friends love me. How do you stop bullying, darling? You have to work on you, build your confidence up so no one fucking bullies you, okay? People bully people, unfortunately, because they see them as someone they can bully, okay? Because the person feels not good about themselves and then they get bullied. You have to build yourself up so you feel better about yourself, darling. I'm amazing. Everybody loves me. I'm the prize. I'm perfection. I'm powerful, Okay, I'm the priority, I'm valuable, everyone loves me, everyone loves being my friend. I'm strong, I'm confident, all those affirmations, darling. Okay? Preach, I am. Hey, how do you get the makeup from, what do you mean, darling? Ask that question again, I don't understand it. 50 new messages, holy shit, hang on, I'm going too slow. It's the name of the game, your energy. No, darling, you're missing the whole fucking point. It's your thoughts. Energy doesn't do shit. Energy is created by your thought. So it's not energy. I manifest that's some LOA crap. I manifested him. He was in my life for four days, and then the fifth day he was with another because you assumed he would be, darling. You assumed he'd leave. You assumed you weren't good enough, and therefore he left. I'll get a good relationship after I fall in love with myself. Yes, guys. You don't even have to fall in love with yourself. You just have to see yourself differently. I'm the prize. I'm powerful. I am loved. I am wanted. That's all. You don't have to fall in love with yourself. Totally unnecessary. So when you think something's going to happen, you're sending that energy out and it attracts the same. No, no attraction, no energy. Get rid of this bullshit, bullshit, bullshit from LOA. There's no energy that's doing anything and there's no attracting anything. Your thoughts literally are reflected onto the person like telepathy. They hear it. I'm not good enough. And they think, oh, maybe I could do better than this girl. I'm not pretty. Yes, yeah, other girls are prettier than this girl. They'll think it. Your thoughts go into their head. They think it. Not energy, darling. That's some LOA crap. I deserve the best relationship. I'm in the best relationship. Yes, darling. If I buy one book by Neville Goddard, which one would you recommend? Well, I don't think you can buy just one book because they're so tiny. Feeling is a secret. It's about yay big. They're all little pamphlets he handed out. So this has actually got about five books in it. The Neville Goddard Reader. Can you see all these books here? They're all in this one book. And it's not that big. Okay, um, but at your command, oh no, that's a, is that a book? At your command, power of, the power of awareness, feeling is a secret and the law and the promise would be the main ones I would say, darling. Feeling is a secret is probably the easiest one. What's happening? We're talking about manifesting and changing your life and negative thinking. I manifested him. He was in my life for four days. Oh, I saw that one. I don't even mention the 3D. I really focus on my self-concept. Things are starting to change. Yes, Sandy. Look, people who've had coaching with me like Sandy know that their self-concept makes them fucking feel better and things start to change in your 3D reality because you're changing you guys. Are you getting this? How long does it take for the shadow echo to catch up? Well, darling, I can't say that. I'm not in your subconscious mind. Until such time as you change your negative thinking and imagine, no, you don't have to change all your negative thinking, but as long as it takes for you to convince yourself that you are now the man or woman you want to be, the longer it takes you to live in the end, the longer it takes. You don't have to be 100% on point with your self-concept, but the less you do of it, the slower your 3D will be to catch up. Okay? The more, that's why I'm going to say, go hard on self-concept, guys. I love your energy. Oh, thank you. Does that make sense, darling? Moon chili. You love that. Oh, what was it? I missed it. Hi. Hi, Paywaker. I imagine my desired scene with my SP, with my favorite song playing, have fun with your scenes. Yes, darling. I love that idea. Any affirmations to give yourself more energy and not be tired all the time. I have so much energy. I am like an energizer bunny. I'm constantly recharging. I have, I have the greatest energy of anyone I've ever met. Everyone always comments on my energy. Then have a scene in your head. Someone says to you or on your phone, God, you've got so much energy these days. What are you doing? I love that when you said, tell your brain to shut up. Sometimes I do that. Yes, darling, you really do have to sometimes because it goes and goes and goes and goes. And goes. Shut up, Karen. It's called toxic positivity. Yes, darling, all those fuckers try and tell you to be happy all day and be positive all day. It's called toxic positivity. It's ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. I really like you. Oh, thanks, K's. Vibes. Vibe. How long do you think live in something not exist? I don't understand that one. Jimmy, could you rewrite it again, darling? It's too many typos for me to understand it. So if he leaves me on red, I should affirm. Yes, darling, if he leaves you on red, it's because you sent out the text with rejection. Why the fuck are you even texting him in the first place? Make them text you. Have you watched my How to Manifest a Text series? You clearly haven't because I don't know why the fuck you're texting them. If you're texting them thinking they're going to leave you on red, they will. If you text them from a place of rejection, oh, I hope he reads the text. I hope he doesn't do this and that. Last time he did this. That's exactly what they'll do. They'll outpicture your shitty thinking. Don't text them if you're thinking that. That's why he did it. 
She's not yelling, guys. Yellow Alba LOA gurus really mess with your head big time with dumb shit. <laughs> yes, darling. Trust. I'm not yelling at you guys. I'm really angry at the crap that's being taught on here, this talk in the water and high vibration. How the fuck does anyone know what vibration they're in? We're all vib vibrating. It's just what atoms do. My water bottle is vibrating. My phone's vibrating even when it's not vibrating, vibrating. I'm vibrating. But how do I know what I'm vibrating at? What a fucking load of shit. But I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's the only thing you can control, guys, what you're thinking. You can't control your energy because how do you do that? You can't control your vibes, your frequency. You can't control it. All you can control is putting new thoughts in to replace the old shitty thoughts. It's the only thing you can actually control. You can't control your emotions even because your thought creates the emotion. So all I want you to do is jump on your negative thinking because you can't literally manifest, create, or control feelings, energy, vibration, or what was the other fucking stupid thing? Frequency. You can't do any of those things. It's physically actually impossible. And any idiot, even like Joe Dispenza, who tells you, la, 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 energy. I'm like, what, Joe? How do I create the energy? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Ever since joining your lives, my affirmations are working. Yes, Kerry J. Randall. I'm so pleased. I've had so many success stories in the last couple of days, guys, just from people watching the lives. How do you stop negative thinking once you've manifested for someone? Well, darling, you've got to think what they are. What the fuck are they? Oh, yeah, I'm not good enough. I'm not the prize. He, he doesn't treat me as a priority. Write all that shit down. And then write the complete opposite, darling, and start affirming that shit all day long and then jump on your negative thoughts as soon as they pop in. I suppose it'll come to you at the right time. No, darling, you decide the timing. None of this LOA bullshit about the right time, but it does come up in its own appointed time. There is no right time. I see what you're saying, but you've got to trust it comes when it will come. You've got to trust it's coming, but don't do that thing about right time, wrong time. The universe will decide. That's going to confuse you. Just think it'll come in its own appointed time, and I guess that's the right time, so you're right. Meditation changes your brain waves, does it? Well, it's not going to manifest anything for you, darling, but you can change your brain waves all you like. You're not going to manifest shit by meditating, but do it. How do we go about getting one-to-one -one coaching with you? Darling, just DM me on TikTok or go to the Facebook group Manifest Space, Live Space, With Space, Loz. DM me on Messenger, okay? And we can set it up. It's one-to-one -one video coaching over Messenger or Skype or some people doing WhatsApp because they don't have either, okay? You send me all your backstory of what you're trying to manifest and I analyze it. Oh, look at all the issues. <laughs> this is what they're doing wrong. And then we fix it over a half an hour call, okay, guys? I'm insecure. What a good affirmation. Well, stop fucking saying that about yourself for a start, darling. Stop saying that. I am so secure. I am so confident. I'm strong and confident. I love everything about me. Everyone loves me. Start saying those ones, darling. I'm wanted. I'm admired. I'm cherished. Stop saying you're insecure. So even when I'm in no contact, is it better to visualize being married or receiving a text or both? All of them, darling. If you're in no contact, I want you to assume you're already together and to contact constantly from that person. They're constantly calling and texting me and you're already together because otherwise you'll just get texts from them and you won't be together and they'll stay with a third party or whatever. You've got to assume you're already with them, guys. You're already the man or woman you want to be. Does that make sense? I support all lives matter, darling. Um, sorry, I'm just scrolling up, guys. How to do affirmations, say them in the mirror. Yes, darling, in the mirror, self-concept ones is great because you're literally looking yourself in your own eyeballs and telling yourself things. That's a great idea. Yes, darling. I'm really angry at my ex. I think he's blocking my manifestations. No, gay garlic, you're blocking your own fucking manifestations by even being angry at him because you can't be angry at your ex because you caused the shit that he did. Are you getting this? It's got nothing to do with them. Stop being angry at him. Stop being angry at you for not listening to what I'm fucking saying on every live that you're on. <laughs> Darling, it's got nothing to do with them. The way they showed up in your life, what they did was caused by your negative, shitty self-concept that was out pictured to them. I'm not good enough. I'm not this. He's going to look at other girls. He's blah, 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 fucking blah. I'm not the priority. And everything you did reflected that shit you were thinking. So don't be angry at him, darling. Start looking at yourself and shouting at yourself in the mirror and saying, gay garlic, I'm angry at you. <laughs> and then change it. Are you getting this? Everyone over here wanting to manifest their SP and I want to manifest my dream career. Well, darling, concentrate on that dream career then and assume you already have it. What is it you want, darling? If you know, I am everyone's favourite TikToker. I am everyone's favorite YouTuber. I'm the best florist in San Francisco. 
okay? Whatever it is, if you know what it is, affirm that. If you don't know what it is, I love my career. I have the dream career. Everyone's envious of my career. I wake up every morning raring to go to my job. I love my life, okay? I'm a goddess. That's a good one. All you can possibly need or desire is already yours. Call your desires in by imagining the wish fulfilled. Yes, my darling. Been focusing mostly on my self-concept instead of my SP the past couple of days, and I feel good. Yes, Lesbian Taylor Swift. Well done, you. Guys, that's what I want you to do because you're still all concentrating on the SP, on the X or whatever, and then you feel feeling shit about yourself and you're wondering why. It's because you have to focus on you guys, not them. If you just assume you're already together and all the other things like third party disappear, yes, darling, but are you listening? I want you to focus on the shitty things you were thinking that caused them to be with a third party in the first place. I'm not enough to probably meet someone else. I'm this, I'm that. Whatever shit you're thinking in your mind, darling, that's the most important thing. You can concentrate on the fucking being together all your life, but if you don't change the shit that caused you to break up, nothing's going to change. Do you guys get this? I get everything I desire. Yes, that's a great affirmation. Is it possible to affirm my SP doesn't find other girls attractive? Only me. They, they love only me. They can only get hard for me. Anything you want, darling, it's like that. Of course. They want me and only me. Don't even mention the other girls. I just, I have problems meeting new people. Well, darling, say things like, I have so many friends, I don't know what to do with myself. Everyone loves to talk to me. I attract everyone into my life. Everyone loves me and wants to talk to me. People talk to me all day long. Sometimes I can't get away from them. Okay? How many self-concept and for how and how many for SP? I would do about three or four for SP, 20% of the day, and 80% about you, and I don't care how many you do. I'm the greatest. I'm the motherfucking best. I am the shit. I am God of my reality. I am beautiful. Everyone loves me. I am perfect. I'm perfect just the way I am. I don't care if you have a thousand of them. Rampage in the car. Do it all day. I don't care. You're so feisty. I love it. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Um... Just have problems meeting new people. Hang on, I saw that one. Any more questions, guys? The only reason you don't think meditation works is because you think it, darling. Well, darling, what the fuck are you doing in my life? I don't do things about meditation. Meditating on something isn't going to manifest shit. You don't need to be in a meditative state to manifest. You manifest all day long. If you think you need to manifest... Uh, meditate to manifest you don't understand how you med med um, manifesting works you think it's from meditation i manifest shit all day long not meditating how come i can do that is that what you're saying that you have to meditate you're on the wrong fucking channel dude go to some loa bullshit that says you have to be in a good vibration or some crap china c whatever your name is it's not about meditation on this channel you've got the wrong live you can meditate, make you feel in a better mood. You haven't got any shit to manifest for you, darling. It's just changing your mood. And yes, your mood affects you all day, but it's not going to manifest shit for you. Do you understand this? If you don't understand it, click off now because you've got the wrong channel. Affirmations are just the opposite of negative thoughts. Yes. He's always been honest and open. He's pursuing me. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. What do you think of those CIA documents? It's right, darling. It's telling you telepathy is real. They can't even still work it out when they did the study. I think they need to do more into it and they probably are but they're just not telling us they knew that information since the 80s and they've kept that information from us that telepathy is real why did they keep that from everybody because they're using it all day long on the television mm -hmm. darling oh it's very condescending you calling me darling when you say the way you say it can it always be our manifestation that stop that stop SP to say it's not at his time. Oh, no, you're a different person. I thought you were that other girl. Sorry, darling. Darling, can it always be our manifestation that stop SP to stay? It is not his at time. Jeep girl, write that again. Can it always be our manifestation that stop SP to stay? It is not his. Oh, yes. Oh, I see your question. Sorry, darling. Okay. Yes, it's your thinking that stops him staying, if that's what you're saying. It's, it's his thinking that makes him think what he thinks. He's not going to stay. He might leave me again, and then he does. I'm not good enough. He wants other people, and then he leaves. Is that your question? Sorry, I didn't mean to go off on you. I thought you were that other idiot talking to me. So meditation doesn't have anything to do with manifestation. No, darling. It just gets you in a nice mood and turns your monkey mind off. doesn't do shit to manifest. I'm sorry. Anyone telling you that's a fucking moron. Um, so manifesting. So my family court case, I will manifest the outcome, whether favorable or not. Yes, darling, you will actually manifest it by your thinking. So if you keep thinking it's going to fail and it's not going to work in your favour, it won't. You can literally manifest you winning it by thinking you're the winner. Not you will win it, you've already won it. You understand? 
every day you go into that court or be online in the court case and you think it's not going to go in your favour, it won't. Does that make sense? Jeep girl, give me the rest of your... Did I answer your question there, darling? Do you believe in scripting or the 369 method or anything like that? No, darling. I, look, you can do 369, you can do scripting, but you have to think it while you're writing. John and I are happily married. He loves me so much. If you're just writing it and writing it and writing it and writing it, it doesn't do anything. But you can script the old story, throw it out and write the new story, write the new version of the person. That's a wonderful thing to do as a scripting thing. I do manifest him. I stay in a great vibe. You don't need a great vibe. I don't know what you're talking about. But then he leaves. Can it be his vibe? Darling, you're at the wrong thing if you're worried about vibes. I don't talk about fucking vibes. It's your thoughts, not your vibration. How do you know what vibe you're at? You can't possibly know. Are you testing yourself with a vibration meter? Darling, that's all bullshit. You're thinking about him not wanting you is what causes him to leave. You're thinking about you that causes you to say things in your brain like, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, will cause him to treat you like you're not good enough, not lovable, and he will leave. It's simply your dominant habitual negative shitty thinking that's causing him to do that darling it's got nothing to do with vibration nothing stop thinking that shit any channels you're watching guys about vibration just fucking press not interested because they're idiots everything's vibrating everything it's just how atoms work it's the fucking dumbest shit i've ever heard is it bad to get bored of your affirmations? Well, if you're getting bored, darling, because you're doing them wrong, you're doing them like this. Do you want to have a marriage? Do you want to have a marriage? Do you want to have a marriage? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. I'm loved. I'm loved. I'm loved. I'm loved. I'm loved. I'm loved. Is that what you do? I don't get bored of mine because I don't do them like a robot. I do them like this. I am loved. I am wanted. John and I are happily married. You've got to decree a thing, guys, as if it's truth. If you're getting bored, it's telling me you're doing it wrong. Vain affirmations. You're writing it down, 55 by 5. You're not thinking it as truth when you're saying it. What are some good money affirmations? I am a money magnet. Money comes to me quickly and easily. Money comes to me out of the blue. I am super wealthy. Everyone envies me. Stuff like that, darling. You're welcome, Talia. What do you think about tarot? Darling, all they're doing is reflecting your dominant thoughts. So if you think, I better give up on him, he might meet someone else, the tarot reader will say, your specific person, John. We'll meet someone else. You should give up on him. And you'll go, ah, ah, ah. but all they're doing is reflecting the fucking shit you thought. And she's reflecting it just like everyone else does. Okay. Do you watch Kimberley's? You know, she argues with me in a group. But yeah, she's got great ideas and she's a really good coach on her channel. I don't know what she's like as a coach. I've had two people so far go to her for coaching, come to me afterwards. Let me give you the tip. <laughs> but she argues me in her fucking group. Because she's got a thing about competition. But look, don't watch her old videos because she was really confused. She was throwing in LOA shit. Only watch her recent stuff in the last four months. And she doesn't know what she's talking about recently. But before that, she was fucking confused. And she argues with me. Do you think you might end up marrying a John because you're always using the name John as an example? I know. I was really careful yesterday because somebody was talking about twins. And I thought, I don't want twins. So I don't want to affirm out loud for these people on this live because I don't want to have twins. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I probably will meet a fucking John. Who knows? Hi, Lavina. Is it best to have a few key self-concept affirmations and repeat them, or can you make a list? Darling, use the one I gave you, but also I don't care if you riff on a 100 of them, darling. It's going to build you up. You can walk in the park to work or whatever and say a 100 of them for all I care, but do have some key really good ones that really get at the core of your shit. I am loved. I am valuable. Everyone loves me. Whatever it is. I am chosen. I am the prize. Okay? If they're your key ones, repeat those a lot. Does that make sense? Um, what do you think about tarot? Oh, hang on. I'll take one of your twins. <laughs> All right, darling. <laughs> Who is this John? I need a John in my life. I'm just using John as an example, guys. Oh, amazing coach. Oh, thank you, Mel. I hope you're feeling really great today, darling, after our other talk. Um, so if we are checking your social media, we are creating resistance. Yes, because you're going... John and I are happily married. I love John so much and he loves me. What's John doing? Would you check his social media if you were married to John? You wouldn't be... How are the girls? What's he doing today? Well, you know what he was doing today. You're fucking married to him. You'd be sick and tired of hearing him. You'd be sick and tired of seeing him. You'd know what he was doing. You wouldn't have to check his Facebook or his social media because he was there in the house with you. Guys, if you're checking for signs, you're checking the social media, you're looking in 3D, it's going against what you're saying in your mind. John and I are happily married. Okay. Yes, there is great movement and I feel amazing. Self-concept is the key. 
Yes, Mel! God, we only had our call the other day. That's amazing. I'm John. Maybe I'm going to marry you, John. So affirming self-concept will revise the negative thoughts from the past that caused them to leave. You're getting this, darling. Your negative self-talk they heard. I might leave Alana. There's probably other girls out there that are better than her. She's not as great as I thought she was. I thought she was fantastic in the beginning, but mm, this relationship's a bit shit. And you're thinking, he's probably going to leave me. He probably thinks his relationship's gone to shit. It's not as good as it used to be. Why isn't it as good as it used to be? Does he want someone else? Oh, I'm not good enough for him. He's better than me. He's better looking than me. My thighs are fat. La, la, fucking la. Get rid of all that shit, darling, because that's what caused the breakup. Are you getting this? My desires come to me easily and quickly. I am confident. Yes, JGM37, they're excellent affirmations. You're amazing, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, darling. How to stop looking at the three third party on social media? Fucking block them if you have to, darling. Why are you looking at it, guys? It's just going to throw you from what I want you to do in your mind, which is living in the end. Stop looking for evidence of your shitty fucking thinking. Oh, he's going to choose someone else and you look and he has. Then when they have, you're still looking at the bitch. What you focus on grows. Do you want that third-party relationship with him to grow? Keep fucking looking at the social media, darling. If you want it to get bigger and stronger, you're creating that. It's your reality. But, it has, but he hasn't committed yet. What, what, what's going on? My SP is telling me I'm amazing and everything, and we hang out several times a week, but he hasn't committed yet. Okay, darling. Alexis, he is re reflecting your old thinking. Remember, the three days delayed. So he's not committing yet because you've still not got harboring thoughts of the old relationship, okay? You've still got the old version of him going on. You need to see him completely as the new version and not react to what he's doing in the 3D because it's old. It's based on your old shitty thinking that you're still thinking and you did think. Start affirming real hard about you and how amazing you are, okay? And start seeing him as the man who's fully committed to you and whatever he does in the 3D, I'm begging you not to react because I did that with my SP and really fucked things a lot. Okay, when you react to them not committing yet, not giving you the version you want, they don't know they're doing it because all you're doing, they're doing is reacting to your old thinking. They need to catch up with your new thinking you're doing now. Do you understand? Do not react. Take yourself out of the room. Don't ask him where it's going. Don't pressure him to tell you if it's blah, 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 because all you're saying is, why haven't you chosen me yet? And then you'll think, oh, yeah, I haven't chosen you. Why would I? Don't do the relationship talk. Don't react. My SP just wants to be friends. Well, darling, that's because you think he does. And you've got some shitty self-concept going on about you that people won't want you in, in a relationship and they, they'll just want to be your friend. Work out what the fuck's going on in your mind, darling, that's causing you to think that about that person and start saying, they want me and only me. They love being with me. Stop thinking they want to be friends. They're doing that because you think that. I check my email for a, lot, for a job offer. Should I just not look for a couple of days? Yes, darling, imagine you have the job already. If that's triggering you, you don't look. Can I affirm I have over him and I've moved on? That seems easier than fixing my mess. Well, darling, that's just because you don't want to fucking delve into your own shit. Well, that's fucking lazy. Because guess what? You'll find the next person, you'll do the same shit with them, they'll leave, and then you'll come back to here and you'll say, but Loz, the next guy left me, and I'll say, yes, I know, white purification, because you didn't fucking fix you. Do you understand? Some bitch wrote on a thing today, oh, when well, I want to get divorced from my husband, I said, why don't you just fix the relationship? She said, well, I don't want, and I said, well, you're assuming it's a bad relationship. You've got shitty negative thoughts. You're just taking the next relationship. She said, I still want to leave. And I thought, you're not getting this. You're just going to do it to the next person and you won't change. Darling, you have to work on you. That's what all manifestation is. It's you pushed out. Everyone is you pushed out. And I don't care how many new people you meet and how happy you are for the first year. The second year, it will go to fucking pot. Are you guys getting this? If guys doubt what Loz preaches, read how Neville manifested his second wife while married. Yes, darling. Guys, he was already married. He'd been married and separated for 19 years. They hadn't seen each other. I think it was 19, 12 years and she was 19 years older than him. They hadn't seen each other all that time, but he never bothered to get divorced from her. Then he met this wonderful girl he called Bill. Her name was Elizabeth. Okay. And he dreamt every night that she was in her bed and he was in his. In those days, they had separate beds. Okay. And he slept with her every night in his room. She wore a wedding ring on her imaginary imaginary wedding ring in her hand, imagining Neville and her were already married, okay? He didn't worry about how it was going to come about, that he would get divorced, but the ex-wife fled New York so he couldn't get divorced from her. He kept wanting to issue her with the divorce papers and she kept avoiding him so he couldn't get divorced. Then one day, he got this phone call. Mr. Goddard, be in your best interest to be down at the courthouse in five minutes. Your wife is on trial. And he was like, 
What? He went down to the courthouse in his casual clothes, raced down there, and his wife had come back from wherever she was, where she was hidden away, trying not to get divorced, and had stolen something in a department store and got arrested. They got him up on the stand. They said, Mr. Goddard, what do you think about this woman? I understand you're trying to get a divorce from her. She must be a bad person. And he said, I have never in my whole life known her to do anything like this. It must be because she is going through the menopause and that is making her act in a strange way. I beg you to let her off. And he said, but Mr. Goddard, you saying all this, if you said she was, you know, like this all the time and a bad character could allow you to have a divorce. He said, I don't care. She's not that person. Please forgive her for what she's done. He went outside. She said, Neville, that was a very good thing to do. Give me the papers and I'll sign for the divorce immediately. It came about. He didn't worry about the how, guys. You were so knowledgeable. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So many people believe if he wanted to, he would. I don't believe that. Yes, that's bullshit because you create them to do what they do. They have no free will, guys, in your reality. They literally outpicture your assumptions. Neville assumed he would be divorced and therefore he got divorced. He didn't care how it was going to come about. Um, If it's what we want him so too he will we are that powerful yes guys they literally have no free will you need to understand this write it down and put it everywhere in your house they have no free will he has no free will they don't they literally can only reflect what you're thinking about you them and the situation do you understand what if you don't mean to think about the how i catch myself doing it all the time well don't beat yourself up guys you think i wonder if they're going to call me i wonder if they're going to turn up on my doorstep with flowers i wonder if that third party's still around they're going to leave her don't worry about thinking about it don't beat yourself up just jump back on the horse live in the end in your mind no one else is affecting us by their thoughts. No, your thoughts create their thoughts. Okay? It's, you are the only cause. What if you don't mean to... Oh, hang on. I've missed a few questions. I think I was crapping on that Neville story. How do you know when it's a good time to make a move? Or should I just wait for her to text? Well, you're a guy, so I don't know what my advice would be for that because I expect the text as a girl. I never text my SP, he has to text me. As the guy, darling, if I were you, I would only do it when you know what her response is going to be. If you doubt for a second that she will respond favourably, I wouldn't do it yet. I would get myself concept on point and feel so amazing about myself that you know when you text or call her that she will love to hear from you. Don't do it from a place of rejection is what I would say to a guy. But girls, don't fucking text them first. Connor, did that answer your question? Um, oh, three new messages and I can't bloody move the screen. What's going on? Bloody TikTok. What's happening? Arr! Why can't I move the messages? This happened the other day that my live froze and all the messages froze and I couldn't even turn the live off. Oh, uh, sorry guys. Something's happening and there's three new messages and... Something's going on with TikTok Live. All right, guys, please do follow me. If you've never followed me before, I talk about manifesting, changing your negative thinking, getting your ex back, changing your life, getting the job you want, getting the house you want, changing your shitty life. Follow me at Manifest Live with Loz on TikTok. I go live twice daily, and you never know when, so you have to follow me. Join the Facebook page. It has all these lives saved. Manifest space, live space, with space, Loz. I will go live later today or tomorrow your time. Okay, and join me, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm sorry the live's frozen. I can't read your messages. I'll see you next time. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching, just DM me. Bye, guys. Ah, can't turn it off again. This happened the other day. Ah.